Hi everybody. Today we are going to uh, discuss uh, on a new project. And uh, the project on which we will discuss is we will learn about schematic and PCB design of single cell 5 volt boost converter. And we are going to use the Easy EDA software to design it. Uh, so here we can see that uh, I also gave you the list of components here which we are going to use in our schematic design. And the schematic which we will use is this one. And uh, now let's start from the start. And one thing more uh, that we will design the circuit and we will also design the PCB and we will also mention at the end that how we can order it. So that the whole thing in this complete project, uh, maybe it will take maybe two, three videos, two, three different parts and I will uh, step by uh, upload them. So first of all, we start uh, from the first one is here, easy to hear. Okay. So as we know that we are going to uh, design a 5 volt uh, uh, PCB uh, design for uh, this boost converter. And first of all, in our head, we can think that for boost converter, what we need, we need an IC and uh, an IC that will help us to uh, increase or like or boost or uh, uh, voltage from 3.7 which is the Leon batteries voltage to 5 volt and which which we really required at the output and with that amount of uh, voltage at the output from after the circuit we can use this uh, uh, PCB circuit for a run or Arduino or many other bo uh, PCB boards or many other boards and also the mobile phones we can charge with the help of it and th that charge will be the stable charge stable power in in in, a, in other sense and maybe you can also use it for power bank battery charging uh, circuitry because that cell you just need to replace it and it will give us the exactly same output which we uh, which we, we will fix here at around 5 volts okay let's uh, start it here uh, as i can I, as i already mentioned here we are going to use this is the boost uh, ic if we, we we will not take from here then we have to go to easy EDA. we can uh, go to the glc pcb because they have a lot of uh, components uh, which are really helpful okay we can just go here um, i already have it if you don't want to use it you can use another uh, like boost converter for that what we you have to do there is uh, a place wait a second a power supply chips in power supply chips, you can see here DC-DC converters or maybe DC-DC controllers. Uh, just go to the DC-DC converters and here you will just easily find it, your boost converter. As I already have it according to my requirement and uh, always see how you can find it out. Uh, you need an output of uh, around 5 volts. So you can select from this list that which will be around maybe 4 volt to 5 volt and between these voltages and the input should be around 3 volt 3.7 volt because we already fixed it because we are going to use the cell battery uh, so you can also search it from here but i already have it you can also use this one exactly and uh, let's put it uh, sorry not here let's put it in our easy eda Yeah, I already have it here. Just copy paste it and search it. Yeah, it will come here and just use it. Uh, now, we will open the data sheet of it here. Uh, like view data sheet and I already have opened its uh, data sheet. And because I want to explain you in my first part, my more focus will be on how we can understand the data sheet of this IC. Uh, then uh, we can uh, design it later uh, in a very easy way. Okay, so first of all, as I told you that uh, this data sheet or this IC will help me uh, to adjust my output between 2.5 volt to 6 volt. So I need 5 volt, that is okay for me. 
and uh, this IC will take around 2 volts input voltage. So I am giving around 2.8 or 3.7 volts and it can I, I can adjust the output voltage around this. Second thing, uh, well, there are a lot of other usage but I don't want to go in depth a lot um, but just overview of it. Uh, basically, if you will not be able to find the complete name of it, which I have mentioned here, like BL8530C502M, just first six digits they are uh, they are important. First seven digits even BL8530C, uh, and all the uh, ICs of this series they they are useful for us, and because they will be controlling our DC DC controller, they are controlling our power. That is okay for us. Um, even if you want to understand this second two digits means like if it is 25 in my case it is maybe 50 it means it give us output voltage of 5 volts it have 50 50 50 mean it will give me 50 volts at the output and like 50 like 5 volt at the output and less around 2.5 volt 2.5 volt to 5 volt and then third digits here what I have third digit is 2 and 2 means to mean with enable circuit uh, enable circuit I can show you here like it have an enable pin here uh, this one CE this is the enable pin like if my circuit is active and we can use it then this enable pin will high will high and um, if we will install an LED here at that point then we can uh, that LED will blink and we can see that our circuit is ready to use and we can get the output from here okay and what is the meaning of the last digit here here we have only one digit that is uh, M M mean here RM mean SOT 23 and 3 3 means it have 3 pins because you can see SOT 23 and 3 we have two different pin configuration of this series one is with three pins and what one is with five pins if we are going to use this one or this one doesn't matter what we will do i am more interested in using this ic and the remaining components what will i do you can see here i can it has five pins what will i do uh, in front of these two pins like ce and nc pins i'm not going to use it i will just put a cross here let me yeah this cross it cross means i am not going to use them in my circuitry so i will just play with my remaining three external pin ground pin and v out pin very simple and uh, let me go a little bit more detail of this ic uh, yes uh, here if you have three pins then uh, one is the ground pin one is the output pin and third is the switching pin you just need these three pins uh, yes it can also work with the enable pin but I just disable it I don't need it and uh, okay if we go in a little bit uh, the explanation of uh, block diagram you can see here this chip, chip enable mean it have already a uh, like a structure inside of this uh, of this IC we are not going to use it we are just going to use ground pin V out pin and external pin okay and here you can see that it will take uh, this much input voltage and uh, inductor values we have to put between 10 to 100 micro henry but we will use around nominal value which is 27 input uh, capacitor uh, at the input side of uh, this uh, ic of this ic not ic around this ic uh, near the input side of it uh, we can use around above 10 micro henry microfarad so we will use around maybe 47 microfarad because uh, uh, when we order the ic always keep in uh, keep in your head when we are going to um, design any pcb design we don't exactly get the specific component value why uh, because it happens that uh, maybe I was having I was doing two or three other projects and I was already having 47 microfarad capacitors with me so I don't need to order maybe 50 microfarad or 30 microfarad capacitor if I have 47 I can go with that one in the same way output capacitor could be ranged between 
47 microfarad to 220 microfarad or nominal value is 100 microfarad so anyone between these values 47 and 220 any one microfarad i can use if i can have easily available 100 microfarad that is okay if i am having 150 or 120 microfarad capacitors then also it's okay mm, okay the operating uh, junction temperature is uh, minus 20 to 85 degree that is all okay uh, yes they gave just reference data here if we are having minimum and maximum of these and we should use this one and these will be the output voltages uh, in our case it will the output voltage will be around 5 volts and we will try to fix it more and there are more uh, some explanations which you can uh, if you are interested in it you can just go in that way uh, why I am designing this circuitry with this specific IC because it just need four components here one is the IC and second is the inductor which is of 27 micro henry third is the short key diode and fourth is the capacitor this IC consists of only these four components and remaining are the like battery holder or main header pin or female USB connector they are the secondary components but main these are the three components on which my uh, this project will work very well you will see by the end of it uh, let's go um, okay yeah they already gave us the input uh, capacitor 47 microfarad as I already told you and uh, there is another capacitor here very near which will be connected to the output of and with the ground of this IC that is a capacitor with one nanofarad and one output capacitor with 100 microfarad and one input capacitor with 47 microfarad um, basically one thing more here this is that uh, one external N MOSFET is connected at the external side of it here they connected NPN transistor in my case in sub ICs these transistors are already built inside and I'm not going to consider uh, them and I will design it outside I will consider that for learning purposes I will imagine that this component is already installed inside of it uh, yeah some have built-in uh, component this component already built in so that's why I will consider as it is built in okay and here I already put the cross here cross mean I'm not going to use this one so we will connect this terminal this point directly to the output like the other wire of this inductor so we will directly connect it here when we design it and this uh, R load I'm not going to use it and I will put uh, one USB here and I will also put these uh, cables when I, I will design I will show you that I will uh, use these output and ground and I will put a pin header here like uh, from where I can get output of uh, 5 volt exactly uh, and this is the diode which is a which is short key diode which will help me that to stop the reverse voltage because at output we are having high voltage and input we have having we are having less voltage that's why it should not flow back that's why we use short key diode here uh, this is the much more explanation of uh, this uh, IC I am having uh, more explanation but I don't want to be, go in that much depth but one thing uh, you see that I just I imagined that I want to design this boost converter and from here I get all these schematic which I will design here these data sheets are giving me the all complete information not only the schematic design but they are also providing me the helping component and the value of these helping components they are also providing me so you don't need to remember that the value of these components will be this you just need to understand that how you can access and how you can get and from where you will get these data sheets or from where you will get the schematic of any of these projects you don't need to remember everything you just need to understand that how you can get it then you just need to find the value which you can hear which you can find here this is very tricky point because I when I was learning my few years back and I was spending a lot of time that how I can design some schematic 
and after search and after consulting lot of like tutors or the uh, engineers and the companies uh, i came to understand that uh, this point is very important and which uh, we engineers miss when we were teaching to our fellows so you have to keep this thing in your head and now our uh, first task is almost complete about the understanding of it one thing more that uh, if you want to go and if you want to uh, change these values which we are going to use in our schematic like 27 micro henry inductor 47 microfarad capacitor or anything then you have to understand this thing very clearly uh, here detailed description here about the selection of external components inductor selection how you can change the value you want to you have to understand this thing and this is not very difficult if you don't want to understand just read it it as we i just give you a hint here an inductor value of 3 micro henry to 1 milli henry works well in most applications but if dc dc converter deliver uh, just just uh, deliver a uh, large amount of current for example output current is greater than 50 milliampere then large inductor value is recommended in order to improve your efficiency it means that if i am using in my circuitry basically the maximum voltage can go around 200 uh, milliamperes that's why i am using not uh, for uh, 50, uh, yeah then i'm not using for uh, 10 micro henry i'm using around 27 micro henry um, like the uh, inductance of uh, inductor and in the same way here output capacitor selection you have to understand this thing you just read it, it and here even they are so helpful the data sheets are so helpful here he says that so large value capacitor is needed to reduce ripples that is okay but too large value capacitor value will slow down system reaction and cost will improve it means that if I will use 100 microfarad capacitor is recommended, larger capacitor value will be used in large output current systems. In my case, that's why they gave me at above I, uh, like uh, the table I showed you. This is that we can use uh, some uh, like the capacitor between uh, 50 microfarad to 220 microfarad. Though so they are using 100 microfarad. So you have to understand why they are giving these values also the data selection we have to use short key diode any of these short key diodes we can use which they give names here and in input capacitor this says that if we are having higher voltage at the input then we can use 10 microfarad but 10 microfarad is recommended but if we use higher than 10 it is it is useful for us so in that case i am using 47 microfarad so now you understood that why we are like getting these values these values are not coming from like from the sky or from anything else these are these things if you understand once then you can use these uh, like uh, uh, scenario in many many different uh, like circuits when you will design for the customers as a freelancer or with the companies so that's why I says uh, I wanted to spend like maybe 15 20 minutes to just give you a brief description of the data sheet how you can understand these data sheets then you can understand the circuit very easily there are many other details if you want to learn I don't want you to spend more time but obviously yes I will give you the link of this uh, um, of this data sheet then you can just open it and just read it it it's not very difficult it's very simple and yeah if you will just read it and you can understand easily okay this is the first part of it and now we will start the second part second part we will uh, use uh, easy eds software to design and to get the component of these